okay, you got a great image, it's well composed and everything else, but the dynamic range is just too much for your camera. Here I've got some beautiful clouds that are not quite as detailed as I would like, and I have some shadow area that's not as detailed as I'd like. So this would have been a perfect candidate for HDR, but I didn't have a tripod with me, and the camera I had with me would not enable me to bracket exposures and still capture a raw image. So when that happens, I've got a technique that I call faux HDR. And I take this image and I create three images from it, and I merge them together in HDR Effects Pro. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to go into the develop module, and I'm not going to change anything else on the image, but I'm going to take the exposure and set it to minus two. And now I'm going to export it. And I've got a preset here that I've created that I, that I call export for HDR effects. And I export it to the same folder as the original. I don't put it in a subfolder. And I give it a file name and a sequence. In this case, it's going to have the same file name. It exports it as a DNG file, a digital negative. And now I'm just going to export it. Okay, there's my first image, and now I'm going to change the exposure to zero, the exposure the camera originally captured, and I'm going to export it again. Only now I'm going to change the start number to two, and I'll export it one more time, and this time I'm going to increase the exposure by two, and now notice I've got the detail I want my shadow area. And I export one more time. And by the way, the keyboard shortcut I'm using is Control Shift E on a Windows machine, Command Shift E on a Macintosh. And I'll change the start number to three and export it. Now my three images are exported, so I'll go back in the library. Now all I need to do is bring them back into Lightroom. So I go down to my original folder. This is the folder where all the images from that shoot were kept. And I right click this and I choose synchronize folder. And lo and behold, there are my three images I exported. And now I'm synchronizing the folder and there are my three images. I'll import them. And boom, they're there all by their lonesome. Now I select the three of these, and I already have HDR Effects 2 installed. So now all I need to do is go to my Lightroom export menu, and then use this Nix software preset that was installed when I installed HDR Effects, and just choose HDR Effects 2, export. Now remember, I manipulated these images in Lightroom. So the metadata does not show that I use negative exposure compensation on one and positive on the other. So when they come into the dialog, HDR effects doesn't know what I did with them. So I'll select this image, and I know I had to set to minus two EV. Now I've got it set to minus two, and this one was plus two. So I just clicked a little spinner button until I get plus two. And now I'll click Create HDR. And there's my HDR image. And now all I need to do is choose from one of the awesome Nick HDR effects presets. I'm going to go to Realistic. And I think what I'm going to do is choose this. I'm going to choose Detailed 1. Now that looks pretty good to me, but actually let me try detail two and see what that looks like. Nope, like detailed one better. And I might tweak that just a little bit. Let me see what deep two looks like. And if I choose balance, that's about the best of the lot. So there you go, a quick and easy way to create an HDR image when you didn't shoot three exposures. And there's the original image and there's my faux HDR image. 
So it's just that easy to create an HDR image when you've only got one image to work with.